O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Apostle of the Gentiles, Paul, the greatest witness of them all, you turn to Christ the risen Lord, when out of light you heard him call. You journeyed far and wide to tell that Christ was risen from the dead, that all who put their faith in him would live forever as he said. To Father, Son, and Spirit blessed, the light of man's uncharted ways, with all the church throughout the world, Give glory and unceasing praise. I will boast freely of my weakness, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. I trusted evil when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, No man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord For his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfil, before all these people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosed my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfil before all these people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages. I will boast freely of my weakness, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. I planted, Apollo watered, but it is God who gave the increase. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathen themselves had what marvels, the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us, Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams and dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song. 
carrying their sheaves. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, the end of the ages. I planted, Apollo watered, but it is God who gave the increase. For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. I must glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. I must glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am the least of the apostles. In fact, since I persecuted the church of God, I hardly deserve the name apostle. But by God's grace, that is what I am. And the grace that he gave me has not been fruitless. On the contrary, I, or rather the God that is with me, have worked harder than any of the others. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of your name among the peoples. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. St. Paul, Apostle, Preacher of the Truth, and Teacher of the Nations, pray for us to God, who chose you. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness, Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scared as the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his brother servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, 
both now and forever, world without end. Saint Paul, Apostle, Preacher of the Truth, and Teacher of the Nations, pray for us to God, who chose you. Since we are part of a building that has the Apostles for its foundation, let us pray to the Father for his holy people. Lord, remember your church. Father, when your son rose from the dead, you showed him first to the apostles. Let us make him known, near and far. Lord, remember your church. You sent your son into the world to proclaim the good news to the poor. Grant that we may bring his gospel into the darkness of men's lives. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son to plant in men's hearts the seed of imperishable life. May we labour to sow his word and reap a harvest of joy. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son to reconcile the world with yourself by the shedding of his blood. Let us become his fellow workers in restoring men to your friendship. Lord, remember your church. You placed your son at your own right hand in heaven. Receive the dead into the happiness of your kingdom. Lord, remember your church. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Today, Lord, we celebrate the conversion of St. Paul, your chosen vessel for carrying your name to the whole world. Help us to make our way towards you, by following in his footsteps and by witnessing to your truth before the men and women of our day. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.